Are you in it? Are you in it? I'm in it. Turn off your phone. Are you full? Yeah, not not as full as I what I usually okay. am. I'm gonna, to be honest with you, I hate grim for pepperoni. Come now. Stop it. <sighs> Welcome back to Spoonsville, where we do all things movie reviews. Today on the program, <laughs> we're covering The Father. Mm-hmm. Yes. Anthony Hopkins, uh, well, he's already won. He's already won. Yeah. Oscar, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah man? I'm going to look that up. Uh, for everything. For all of it. He's won a lot of awards. Everything, yeah. He's very established, very clean. Yeah, yeah. And we love him. We do, and he's why we we watched The Father. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, th- th- there were a lot of things I liked. I like that um, the whole thing really takes place on one set. But because it changes throughout, not only adds to the disorientation of it, and then the kind of confusion that puts you into Antony's mind going through, you know, his dementia. But um, I don't know. It's actually it. I, I, I guess the point was to portray um, dementia from the sufferer's perspective, which I think they did very, very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. For me, the first thing I, I would say was when the 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 tiles in the kitchen they 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 changed color yeah and I was like is that what's going on here yeah, so I didn't yeah. catch that at all yeah he didn't catch that but you mentioned it real time yeah <laughs> yeah you know mm-hmm. I I like to think I I think I just I don't even know if I'm that observing with movies I just rewatch movies a lot so then every time you rewatch you're gonna notice other things but you pick up on things that usually take me like ten watches to notice so that's very helpful. Yeah. Save a lot of time that way. Yeah, there's so many things that I I really yeah. enjoyed about the movie. The acting I, was fantastic. Yeah. With the scenes that they decided to, you know, have in there, I thought they were all very gripping. Like, there's the one where Antony is with the potentially new caregiver, Imogen. I think you got the name. Imogen Poots. Imogen Yeah, Poots. that's her name. But and, uh, yeah. and then Laura, and, uh, She's and, Laura and Anne, the... his daughter, and kind of doing an interview just to see if they get along well. And, you know, he's trying to entertain her at some por- parts, um, but then at other parts, he just completely loses sense of his manners and just starts to say offensive things to both his daughter and the potential new caregiver. And I thought it was a very, just like, uh, like it was, it was, it was a very easy scene for me to watch in terms of I'm in it. Like I'm, 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 I'm in, I'm, I'm feel like I'm there. It's affecting me <laughs> physically, emotionally, you know? And I found really most of the scenes like that in the movie, I was, I was very much drawn into. It wasn't a movie for me, um, where I was just kind of started to space out or I just started to, you know, so I think for what they decided to, to include, I, I, I I was drawn in the whole time. I think overall I found the movie was for whatever, I don't even know what I was expecting. Um, I'm trying to think of really what, what I was, I was hoping to get, I guess, from seeing the trailer, but it, it didn't quite, I guess, um, satisfy me in the way that I can't even explain to you how I would want to be satisfied with that movie. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, it fell short somehow. And it's a kind of maybe unfair to the movie because I can't even articulate why. But uh, maybe I was hoping they would they would do more or say something different about the movie when really it was just kind of the decline uh, of his mental capacities through his progressive dementia. And then it leads from him being independent to him being you know, in a nursing home and kind of takes a toll on the family. And, and you're like, okay, fair enough. Yeah. And then, and then they did it in a certain way. And I guess I was just like, okay, well, I don't know what, what more they could have done, I suppose. But yeah. in terms of the, what they, they, they did include, it was all very well put together. Yeah. I definitely feel the same way. I really wasn't as gripped as I expected that I would be just based on the trailer. The trailer was just incredible. Yeah. And I was expecting that that would translate to the movie. But again, something that we talked about is, you know, what was the goal, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have goal uh, in terms of the people creating the movie, but then you have goals in terms of the viewers. And so that's, again, I'm not really sure what I would have, what they should have added. Or I guess for me, the one thing I could think of is, I would have liked to see see them draw out the experience of the people affected by um, a loved one's struggle with dementia. And you never really see any kind of, um, 
you, you don't really see anything that supports the kind of commitment that Anne gives to her dad in the sense of you you get clips of her crying, um, but then they don't draw it out in a way where I would start crying. I really mm. didn't cry at all in the movie. I am a huge mm. crier. I am just the worst. I fall apart mm. very easily. And so I, it, that didn't really happen uh, for me. And as far, I, I don't have any experience with dementia, but as far as I, you know, I can imagine that it's it's like watching your loved ones just die very, very slowly. And it's psychologically it must be the most, I don't know, tormenting thing mm -hmm. because they're here. You can touch them. You can feel them, right? Mm -hmm. You can hear them, but it's not the person that you grew up with, the person that you love. Yeah. And so I think that's, that's that must be the hardest thing to actually to go through. Mm -hmm. Well, but maybe, um, and, and see, maybe that's where I think there's a difference between what the the filmmakers wanted to do versus what, what maybe would have, what yeah. maybe you were probably, you know, I, and I get it, I, I'd probably Which have the same where, because you could, because I think, yeah. and it's probably a very hard movie to edit because they could have, maybe they had more from the perspective, because they had a few scenes from the perspective of, say, Anne, or the Anne and yeah. the husband discussing, and then it would go back to, so maybe they felt like, well, we could do, an, uh, not say another movie, all these movies, there's a lot of great movies dealing with mental illness and things where it's kind of a more objective stance, where you just see how everyone's reacting, and it does focus more on the people being affected, and the person going through the, the, the decline uh, in their faculties. Um, but this one, I think maybe they're like, well, maybe it's a, it's a bit of a, not a fresh take, but it's a different angle to really 98% focus on his perspective, Yeah. which then means it's, it's might lose a bit of its emotion in term because they can't really focus. They have to, there's only a little bit of Anne getting really upset by him forgetting her or being rude to her. And then it kind of cuts back to him being like looking for his watch. Yeah. So it kind of cuts some of that that I feel like ability to, f to feel a lot of the emotion for her and feel really sad for the people getting aff negatively affected by him. Yeah. But then it adds more kind of a, an element of putting you in the, the shoes of someone going through that. So you lose stuff and you gain different things depending on, you know, what object, what objective you want and what per perspective you want to focus on, I guess. Yeah. And I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's true. We do not know what they were trying to accomplish. And so maybe they did uh, accomplish what they wanted. Anthony Hopkins is incredible. Every single movie. Um, <laughs> Google. Thanks, Google. <laughs> Thanks, Google. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, I think if the goal of the movie was to put you in the mind of someone who was suffering through dementia, I think they did a fantastic job. I was really just perplexed the entire movie. Mm -hmm. My my eyebrows were literally yeah. furrowed throughout yeah. the movie. Yeah. I Maybe that was the goal. Yeah, and if that was the goal, fantastic, yeah. really. Um, I don't know. There's part of me that wishes it would have just, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. you know. Yeah, I know what you mean. You, you wish it could be one that you want to just recommend to everybody, you know, like a perfect. Yeah, that's what I was kind of. So my expectations, I think, were set a little, maybe unfairly high, yeah. which a lot of times is what then makes you feel a little disappointed after. Whether or not that's even fair to the movie, that's why I don't like hearing when people say, like, you got to see this or that, it's, you'll love it. Because yeah, like, you don't know. You know. Yeah. Let me just watch it and experience yeah. it, and yeah. then I'll, I'll, I'll let it digest. Yeah, I'm not really sure what else to say. Yeah. I, I, for me, I would, instead of... You know, for say anything, it was 10 out of 10. Really couldn't have anything to change about it. Yeah. With The Father, I give it an 8 out of 10 because I think generally it, succeed, it was well done in what it did. I think it just, for whatever reason, I don't know. It, you know, there's certain movies like, for instance, like Parasite. I didn't know what the hell was going to happen. Happened. happened in that movie, but yeah. I'm glad everything happened, happened the way it happened. happened. <laughs> yeah. Whereas with The Father... I I don't know what was going to happen with that either, and I kind of wish it was a little different. Yeah. That's all. That, yeah. It's hard. I can't even, really articulate it any more concretely than that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's um, all. Um, so I'm just going to... I'll let you do. Yeah. <laughs> do the, yeah. I'll, I'll give you the I'll, honors. Okay. Of, I'll give it an eight. Rating. I'll give yeah. it an 80%. Yeah. Eight ripe tomatoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want to have tomatoes now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, you know, overall, I would say, like, if someone approached me... And was like, oh, you saw The Father, you know, which I'd be like, check it out. Like, it's worth watching. Yeah. You know, it's definitely worth watching um, for several different things. It's worth watching for Anthony Hopkins. It's worth watching just for the the idea of it and, and um, 
the, the the overall story is compelling and everything. And it's worth watching for sure. That's what I give. Yeah. It's not my favorite movie. And I've seen other movies that I think just kind of hit their target a little more effectively. So, yeah. Yeah. You know, if you like Anthony Hopkins, if you like yeah. Watch dementia if, movies. Yeah. I don't know if that's a subgenre that you're looking for a lot. Uh, then yeah, check it out. But uh, you that's know, us. that's that's just us. So, you know, if you've seen it. Let us it, know what you let us know what you thought. Yeah. Put a rating in. Yeah. Out of five stars or ten stars or Michelin stars, three stars? Yeah. Out of Rate 10. this movie out of three Michelin stars. Out of ten, because yeah, we're rating Michelins. it out of ten. I don't even know. <laughs> Not if Michelin, Michelin goes stars, that high. just out of ten. Okay. Rate it out of ten, because yeah. we are rating it out of ten. Yeah. 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 That's the yardstick. Yeah, that's ten. the yardstick. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks, people. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>